Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Imagination Tech. My name is Jeff. So you've seen me build quadcopters on this channel. You've seen me build tricopters on this channel. Now we are going to be looking at something else and this is the Eagle Wings Frelon Y6 frame. So a quadcopter has four motors, a tricopter has three motors and a servo. This one is propelled by six motors. So this is just going to be a preview of this frame, but we are going to have a full build upcoming. Uh, that's coming very soon. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel and make sure you do that now. All right, so we are going to get into this thing. We're going to take a look at this frame. So stay tuned. So this is the Eagle Wings Frelon Y6 frame and um, I was actually quite surprised because this is all the carbon fiber parts that came with it and your typical quadcopter might actually have more parts than this. But uh, so yeah, so this, all of these came uh, in a box and it was just uh, you know packed with bubble wrap and some uh, newspaper. Even these screws just came in a small plastic bag. And uh, obviously, this the the wild, the Frelon frame is not manufactured, is or rather, it's not mass produced. So it's just uh, the, all of these carbon fiber parts and these 3D printed parts were just uh, produced by one guy in France, uh, Ludo. Um, so definitely, that also explains why uh, you know this is like uh, a little bit more expensive than your typical. Uh, quadcopter frame because it's like uh, a one-man boutique that's just producing this not uh, a factory in China or something like that so let me show you first uh, this is the bottom plate and you can see here at the back there are holes for a 20 by 20 board which uh, you know you can use uh, put put a BTX there uh, or, or something uh, and you can see that there's you know there are no holes uh, towards the center and because uh, the bottom plate doesn't actually hold most of your electronics it's actually the top plate that does and uh, the, the way you would uh, build this is you would mount all of your electronics on the underside of the of the you know top plate and you can see that there's a hole here for a 30 by 30 stack or also a 20 by 20 stack so you can whether you have a mini flight controller or you know a full-size board you can use this with a Frelon frame and you can also see that there's another set of uh, holes here at the back and that's because uh, since this is using six motors um, one four-in-one ESC is not going to be enough you, you have to have another one uh, you know to have enough ESCs for all of your uh, motors now there are two kinds of arms uh, there's uh, these two arms uh, you can see that the hole pattern here is the same and there's also this arm which has a bigger hole and this is this goes to the back where one of the aluminum standoffs uh, you know, go through there as well now um, obviously you just have three arms with a y6 and uh, there the, the design is quite uh, nice uh, for the you know for the motor holes because you have your uh, holes for your motor screws and these larger holes now to mount your motors you mount uh, you know you can mount one set of motors here on the under underside of this and obviously your screw heads uh, will be up here and you just align this uh, this other plate which gives space for your screw holes and where you can also screw down uh, your other motor so you have one motor on top and one motor at the bottom right so it also comes with these, uh, with this uh, canopy, or with this pod that they, the, the, what that the that Luda calls it. This is the pod for the front. So this supports regardless if you're using a digital or analog system, you can use it with the Frelon frame. Also comes with this uh, GoPro mount, uh, which goes up here on the top plate. Now there are a lot more parts uh, available, like uh, if you if you need a GPS mount or an antenna mounts, uh, they are available on uh, Thingiverse, uploaded by Ludo. Uh, so you can download that, you can even print, you know, your own custom pods and uh, uh, other mounts. Um, you know, um, if you have uh, different kinds of GPS units, so there's, uh, there's a lot of available and uh, I'll post that 
uh, a link to that in the description below. So let's go ahead and uh, check out how to build this thing. So let's start off with these six screws because they are the longest in the bunch. Obviously, these thickest screws would need to go through the thickest parts of the build. And um, that would be the top plate and the arms. So also notice that the top plate is chamfered it ha it it or filleted. I'm not really sure about the term, but uh, it has an initial cut here at the edges. And that makes it really nice, but it also adds, you know, cost in terms of manufacturing. Anyway, so let's just uh, put that there. So you can see that uh, the longest screws fit really nicely, especially with these uh, nylock uh, nuts. So at this point, I just want to hand tighten everything. I don't want to tighten everything. Uh, and that's because we still don't have uh, the rest of our parts. None of our electronics are uh, for this build are here. So I just want to build this out for you know, just to show this how this frame looks like when it's fully assembled. Put in our aluminum standoffs as well. So we take one of these shorter ones and we just put them through the holes and screw just the standoffs in. Now for the final two standoffs, you want to take your camera pod and you want to push these aluminum standoffs through these holes and once they're through we just screw them here at the front now we take our bottom plate and we just align the, them here with the screw holes and then probably use my right hand I'm better with my right hand Okay, so I noticed that it, it came with these four uh, rounded top uh, screws. I forgot what they're called. So we are going to remove these four. These are also the ones on the standoffs. And put them here on the mount instead. And that would screw on through, through this uh, TPU mount. This one goes here over on top and through to the standoffs. So now with the remaining screws, just take one of these and make sure that these are aligned like that so that they're 90 degrees to each other. And just put one of these here, another one here. screw on a nut at the bottom. So let's just do that with the, with the rest of the arms. All right, now we're done building our frelon. There's an extra screw, which is shorter than the rest of them. I think this is this wasn't really meant to be included, but uh, it's there. Um, it's actually plain looking without all of the electronics and all of the motors, but uh, we'll soon see how this would look like when our motors arrive. But uh, if, again, if you notice, um, the electronics would be mounted here up on top and the, you know, the, your stack is actually underneath uh, the, you know, the, the, the line, the motor line. So it reminds me of some of another quad that I have, which uh, is also have a similar design. If you remember my good old uh, Oma quad, and you can see that uh, the stack is also here, right under the top plate and you know near the motor line. So yeah, uh, these, these, these are actually really good designs. If you're interested in building one yourself, the Frelon comes in different sizes, coming in at 55 euros for a three inch and four inch versions, 90 euros for this five inch version, and 250 euros for the eight inch to 10 inch versions. The downside though is that it ships from France and payment is via PayPal friends and family only. I paid 90 euros with an additional 795 euros in fees and after we figured out shipping, I sent another 30 euros with 589 euros in fees. So it might be better if you sort everything out and send payment in one whole transaction. So I touched briefly upon top mounted stacks like the one here on my uh, Oh My God Remix and you'll have to forgive uh, the appearance because it's still in the middle of a rebuild i'm replacing the whole stack but yes so the stack is mounted on the top plate so it's uh it's upside down and uh, the 
the reason for this design is that most of your weight is uh, you know up here um, near the line where your motors and your prop where your props are this is the the prop line and the thing here is that the battery is top mounted so all of your weight your center of mass center of gravity is all here in this central location near the prop line and here at the center so there, there's a key difference here with the Frelon Y6 is that while the stack is top mounted or uh, top plate mounted mounted on top on underneath the top plate the batteries are under slung so it's not you know it's not as ideal as the Omega remix because your weight is distributed you know away it, the, the battery is far away from uh, the props and uh, far away from the stack so the, be, the the stack being top mounted really doesn't make that much of a difference but uh, this is the v1 uh, frame and we haven't even built this thing yet so we don't know how it flies um, but there is already a v2 frame where the the, the arms are here are, are mounted are fixed on the bottom plate in the future maybe we can also check that out all right so i am going to be leaving you with that we i'm very excited still very excited about building this uh frail and y6 frame the i'm just waiting for a couple of more parts um which are coming very very soon so hopefully i'm going to have a full build of this frail and y6 frame here on this channel so make sure you're subscribed and if you like this video please click on the like button because this sends this video out to more people like you um and yeah um so i'm going to leave you with that i'm going to end this video here as always keep building and keep flying